Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel this and that so today's video is actually I'm really excited about it it is an unboxing um, of a birthday gift from my BFF my BFF Jen um, she was so sweet uh, because normally her birthday is the day after mine and normally what we do is we go out to dinner we do something we always get together and do something to celebrate our birthdays. Um, but this year, because of the quarantine, we can't do that. So she was so incredibly sweet, and she got me a, and I had never heard of it before, a bright box. So this is the box that it came in. And it's like one of those, you know, little gifty things probably, um, on the idea of, uh, what is it, fab fit fun, something like that. But I just thought it would, it brightened up my day uh, when she had texted me and she said, you need to check your mail. So when I checked my mail, I was so excited. And th then I thought it would make a great video for unboxing. So that is today's video. Um, so I, first of all, I, it has, yesterday I was going to film it, but Thursday night I didn't, I didn't, was it Thursday night? It was. It was Thursday night that I didn't sleep. For some reason I could not fall asleep at all. Even usually the ASMR videos that I usually watch to help me lull me to sleep didn't work. So I was a hot mess on Friday because my plan was that I was going to film the unboxing on Friday morning, but that never happened. So I texted her and I said, I'll do it tomorrow, meaning today, which is Saturday, um, because A, I'll hopefully get more sleep or I'll get sleep in me and, uh, you know, I can make it a little bit more of a production. So um, I hope it was worth the wait, but let me tell you, because I had it in my head that I was going to be doing the unboxing and I was going to open it yesterday, yesterday while I was working from home, this, I had to hide it. I legit had to hide it from myself because I, I, I found myself sitting on my couch. I kept eyeing it. It was over on my, um, on one of my chairs at my island. And it just kept calling me. Lori, Lori, open me. So I just had to hide it in my closet. It's a miracle I even found it again uh, because, <laughs> yeah, one of these days, I think I've been saying that for a month or a couple months. I need to clean out that closet. Um, so without further ado, I am going to open the box. Yay! Um, I had never heard of Brightbox before, so whole new experience. Oh, what I love about it is it says, so happy to see you on the side, which I thought was so cute. And then it got me to thinking, is the box saying that it's happy to see me? Or are they just assuming that we, the receivers, are happy to see the box. And in my case, definitely the latter. Okay. So exciting. Okay. So, and this is, comes with nice little tissue paper. And it comes with a card that says happy birthday and she writes I know we can't celebrate in person right now so I wanted to send you a little something to say happy birthday love you Jen thank you thank you Jen you totally made my day oh my god she all right she totally knows iPads Hot and cold, uh, reduces puffiness and relieves tension. 
Lordy, do I need these? Uh, I will. I don't want to ruin the packaging. Is it taped? It looks like it's taped. You know, eyes are always the first thing that I think people notice about other people. Um, and I have kind of always, even from my, I would even say in my teens, definitely 20s, that I have always had dark circles. And I've always been able to deal with them with concealer and foundation. But lately, um, and I know it's just all the stress of work, right now the stress is because we're so unbelievably busy. We cannot hire fast enough. We have probably doubled, um, maybe they just come out, their stuff on. Okay, so I got the cardboard out. Oh, you know what? I think I think they are attached. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ooh. These these are good ones. So, I have an eye cream that I'm currently using. It's not really an eye cream. It's more of a it's honestly, it's more of a gel. Uh, so what I do is I put the gel on and I keep it in the refrigerator because the coldness of it feels amazing at night when I use it and I use it with, um, uh, I, uh, what's it called? Sonic Opal and it's specifically designed for the eyes. Uh, you just, it vibrates and it runs down, uh, along the bone of the under eye. So you don't put it directly under your eye, under the soft tissue. You place it and run it on the bone that's right underneath there. Um, that's where you run it. And I, creams, gels, serums, they can only do so much, I mean, let's be real. A lot of it is hereditary. I am blessed that I didn't get the bags. Uh, a lot of the women in my family, especially on my mother's side, they have the bags. I don't have the bags. So I can deal with the dark circles. I can deal with looking like a raccoon um, because I don't have the bags. So this is, I'm just going to put that down there for two seconds. So the little watermelons, that's what they look like. And they got a gel consistency and they you know it's plastic with the gel and i can tell that these are things that um this type of material is going to do very good uh hot or cold i can see for the cold now why would you do for the hot for cold use place in freezer for a minimum of 30 minutes until desired coolness is achieved for warm use, place in microwave for five second intervals until desired warmth is achieved. So my question is, so the coldness I get, because that reduces the puffiness. I don't, a lot of products will say that they will contribute to the, the removal of dark circles, but I don't know that necessarily to be true. But I'm curious and I'm gonna to have to do some research as maybe the warmth is to relieve the tension. Uh, that that might be, cause it doesn't say hot and cold reduces puffiness and relieves tension. So I'm assuming that the, the warmth is to relieve the tension. Uh, because as I said, the coldness, um, back in the day it was, you would slice up cucumbers and put them on your eyes. Yeah, did it can't say as though I really it really helped but I I hold nothing against the the cucumber okay. 
let's see, what other goodies? $5 gift card to Starbucks and a rose water facial mask. Ooh. I love me my facial masks. Okay, it's white writing on pink. See how tragic, if I can read it or not. Beauty Treats Rose Water Facial Mask is formulated with soothing rose water to hydrate and tone, I beg your pardon, hydrate and tone skin. Our special formula helps improve skin texture, leaving your skin radiant and moisturized. Rose water contains antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties to cleanse and calm skin. Ooh, this is definitely something, see, my BFF, she totally knows me. The anti-inflammatory, I don't have it as bad as other people in my family, but I do have a hint of rosacea. You've probably noticed it, or maybe you haven't in the videos that I have done where I didn't have any makeup on whatsoever. It's just a touch and thankfully I've been able to control it with the skincare products that I've been using, which I believe in a previous video I had mentioned that it's pretty much Chanel is what I use for cleaners and whatnot. Um, so I am look totally looking forward to this because as I said in one of my other videos I want to say it was the closet haul video I believe if I'm not mistaken I believe that was the video where I was uncovering a lot of masks and I do love my masks because I have very dry skin my skin is naturally dry and one of the challenges that I have especially in the winter time is keeping my skin especially feet and hands moisturized uh, as well as the rest of my body um, it is a constant challenge and definitely for the face I have always sort of seem to have that underlining kind of dryness so if you were to get all up close and personal you would you would just think okay it's liquid makeup on dry skin so it's looking kind of powdery um, it's just that's how my skin has always been so instead of taking after the Italian side of uh, which is my father in the olive complexion and the moisturized and the oily skin now I I took after my mother's side the Irish side that's dry as hell uh, but yeah deal with it as best you can and no, I am not trashing my mother. Um, Sour Patch, oh my God. Sour Patch Kids. I, when I eat candy, I don't groove on anything that's spicy. I don't groove on anything that is sour. When I'm eating candy, there's a reason why I'm eating candy. And I'm eating candy because I want something sweet. That's the whole purpose. That's what I'm, that's what I want. I want something sweet. But, and I can't recall the circumstances specifically that led me to try Sour Patch Kids, but I did. And I like them. They, you know, I, I think, what are they? Sour than sweet. And they are. But I just thought they were so fun when I tried them that for a little bit I kind of got hooked on them um, and I at work this was all before the quarantine I would be sitting at my desk and I would pop these in but after a while I was you know I kind of was like yeah okay I'm kind of over the whole sour thing but I do like them and I like watermelon so yay! I'll have something to munch on when I'm in the office on Monday and Rose Hip Oil Lip Gloss Hydrating Lip Care Girl knows me Girl, you totally know me You totally get me Because 
yes, I have naturally dry skin, feet, hands, face. The one thing, as you all know, from my, I forget what month favorite I did when I did the lip care, the exfoliating and the, um, uh, the, the lip balm, y'all know that your girl hair has an issue keeping the lips moisturized and uncracked and just all kinds of nasty. So, hydrating lip care infused with rose hip oil, aloe, and vitamin E. Okay, I already have lip gloss on. So I'm not gonna put it on my lip, but I am going to, hopefully I can open it without stabbing myself. And it's so interesting that it's hip and it says HIP. I don't know that I would necessarily, if you were to blindfold me, there, there is a scent but I don't know that I would necessarily, I don't know that I would go to Rose. But it's funny, when it's in the container, I can get more of a whiff of the scent, but not once I put it on my fingers. And pardon the fingernails, I know they're a disaster. But the good thing is that I'm, I know I'm in good company. It's got a stickiness to it. So, which is good because it actually gives it a shot to help hydrate the lips because a lot of lip glosses, even the one that I have on now, um, which is a Marc, J uh, Marc Jacob, this has a, it's got a stickiness to it, which is good because it's going to really adhere to the lip, which the whole point is to get the lips hydrated. So, that, wow, I'm so looking forward to using this because the one of the reasons why I was using the lip care, uh, well, I still do, I don't know why I said why I used to, the combination of the exfoliant and the lip balm at night is because I couldn't keep it on. Okay, I would use the exfoliator, um, and then I would use the bomb and then I would go to eat or drink something and then it comes right off. So what's the point? It's kind of pointless. So that was the reason why I always did that at night because I'm thinking at least it has a fighting shot of um, working and doing its magic on my lips, which not to the level that I would have liked, but it did help. And that was the reason why it was one of my favorites. But, ooh, I love the little package. It was such a pick-me-up. Thank you, Jen. Love you so much. Thank you for thinking of me. And you know your girl. And every, I love everything. Can't wait to use it. And I will definitely let you guys know how everything works. So that's it for today. Uh, today is uh, Saturday. It is bright and sunny. It's probably high 60s. 
So I think I am going to go out and try to enjoy some of the day and the sunshine. So uh, thank you for watching. If you happen to like the video, um, that would be great. If you liked or subscribed, comment, whatever. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.